Hi guys, my name is Abhi from Fasal, okay, and we are here at the City School of Architecture commemorating the 30th year anniversary celebrations. Now, in commemoration of the 30th year, they are showcasing an exhibition with all sorts of items on display from the students studying, currently studying at the City School of Architecture. Stay tuned as I talk to a director of the school, a member of the organizing committee, and a lecturer here at the school itself, uh, asking them about the future plans for the school, uh, what they offer, what the school offers to its students, and of course, we we get to check out uh, some of the items at display today here as well. Once again, do stay tuned. Tell me what is it that your school offers? Yes, the CSA offers a part one, a diploma in architectural studies, and the part two, that is CSA higher diploma in architecture. Uh, one of the uh, unique things about our course here is that the part one and part two courses are accredited by the Sri Lanka Institute of Architects, as well as the Royal Institute of British Architects. And in addition to that, we also have a partnership with the University of West of England of uh, Bristol in UK, uh, where uh, the students have an option of obtaining a B. Arch Honours or a Master of Architecture in Environmental Design. Quite a lot of things offered here at your school indeed. One last thing, tell me, where do you see the future of uh, CSA headed right now? I mean, what, what future plans you'll have, future goals you're planning on uh, bringing out to the students who join in the future? Tell me. Yeah, we are also ho hoping to uh, recruit students from all over the South Asian region and to be one of the best architecture schools in the region of South Asia. And I'd like to wish you nothing but the best indeed. Thank you so much for being a part of this. And obviously, enjoy the rest of the day and all the best for the future of the School of Architecture. Thank you very much, Mr. Sangri. Tell me about your views on it, your perception, what do you think the students have done to make sure it's a success and also of course not forgetting the history of City School of Architecture. Uh, <clearly> I think uh, all in all credit should go to the students and the staff for organizing this event and to celebrate and commemorate 30 years of the school. Uh, we started in 1986 and uh, we're back in 86 actually where we uh, was then known as the SLIA or a school up as the part of the institute and uh, we then you know it was started off by three very senior architects who wanted to give uh, opportunity to the, uh, the the let's say the less fortunate who couldn't get into a government university because we had only one to do architecture but there was so much a talent around that uh, people wanted to people wanted to do it and especially with the international schools coming up Students who went to international schools wanted the opportunity to do architecture in Sri Lanka and they couldn't get into a government university. So that's where we came in and uh, me, I, I'm also a part of the school as in I was a student. I, I was in the third batch when we started and I passed out in 98 and uh, since then I've been uh, now serving on the board for the last uh, five, six years as a director. So I think uh, when it came to 30 years of came to having a, a function and to come up with 30 years uh, as uh, celebrating 30 years uh, we put this idea forward and the students and the uh, lecturers embraced the whole idea and uh, they would they also love to showcase themselves and their work absolutely and architecture is something that uh, a lot of people don't know about and i think our country needs to know about it and uh, so we're having this open day is for the outsiders to come in 
and to see what our students are capable of so that it also gives them job opportunities in return you know it's something where they can showcase themselves and they can also be hired because uh, we need to be on the practical side of things as well Definitely. not just uh, behind uh, behind a desk and uh, doing your work inside a school so you have to go out so this is something to showcase that and i think uh, if you go outside and see their work i think it showcases the whole uh, the whole thing that we wanted it to be and uh, we hope to have this on a yearly basis so that uh, the, the students can be hired by the uh, different companies, architectural firms, when they go on their internships. Because after, th after the part one, they need to do an internship, and after part two, they need to do an internship. So I think all this is something that we're looking for the future, and uh, we're trying to give the students something more than what they, what they wanted or what they bargained for. So that's the idea. Yeah. And we learned quite a lot about the history of the City School of Architecture and everything the students have done for it. But as you can look at some of the exhibitions today, some of the items that display, yes. and uh, from your point of view, from your perspective, tell me, what did you think of them? Any, any of your personal favorites? Did you think the students, how do you, what do you think the students' effort put into it? Everything you think about it, tell so me. I think, uh, I think uh, what's nice is that everything out there is done by the students. Even the models are made by the students. And if you look at uh, some of the seats, you know, the, there is a a kiosk seat which is there which was I thought remarkable which has been done with local materials within the school so that they are it's not just drawing and being architects you have to be hands-on that's and your, your creativity has to come hands-on you need to know what it is to make something not just draw something because you're three-dimensional it ultimately it has to stand up so you need to know how to do it without just putting it on a piece of paper and not knowing how the practical side of things are. So materials need to be, need to be used. I think that is what... Do you think they're displayed here today? Yes, it is. It is certainly displayed there. The creativity in terms of drawings as well as in models, which is very important, and I think you can see it out there. So, well, I think the best is for everyone to come in whenever they can and have a look. Uh, but... That is what is shown, and we are really, really proud of the students. Thank you so much for being a part of us, Mr. Rajiv, and all the best. Enjoy this today, and all the best for the, for the future of City School of Architecture. Thank you so much. Mrs. Tarushana Tharamalingam, one of the members of the organizing committee of the City School of Architecture's exhibition that's currently ongoing today. Ma'am, it's a pleasure having you here with us today. Tell me, being a part of the organizing committee, being a member that's responsible for putting everything together, inviting all the relevant people, making sure everything is done on time and runs smoothly, what does it take? Actually, it's all uh, staff and students and directors and all the top level management's hard work, I would say, because uh, uh, putting everything together and making sure the event is very success and actually I would say yes it is because uh, students are making sure uh, that all the things are in place and they're working overnight and late nights for the past uh, week actually and also the lecturers as well because here we have lecturers and students uh, they are like you know very uh, committed to the work what they're doing uh, and also they're professionals. So as you can see, like what they have produced today, it's very up to the standard. And also like system that you all, we all use is internationally recognized. So we have to make sure that we are maintaining the same standard. So actually students, uh, of course, it's all, pr the whole event is organized by the students basically. In the sense like, you know, the putting up, the setting up the event and all See, the, all the, exhibitions. all the exhibitions. Because uh, it's, they wanted to uh, show what they're doing exactly. What is their life at uh, City School of Architecture? And also it's a 30 years event, so it sure. comes like, you know, it's not an annual thing. So they wanted to make sure like, you know, what exactly we are doing here at CSA to show to the public. So that's why we are keeping this to public uh, open event because in the evening also we have uh, lectures okay. uh, going on and also after the lectures around six o'clock we do have uh, live music as well. So it's actually happening both the days, today and uh, tomorrow. So from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So I, I hope uh, like whoever is interested in architecture and also to see the event, please do come. 
and definitely you will enjoy the event and also uh, I would say it's a very uh, successful event and I wish all the students and uh, the staff members and of course the city school yeah to very best and also uh, I would say uh, it's 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 a good uh, environmental like it's a good uh, education uh, like you know uh, Yes, yes, I would say, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so uh, I wish them all the best, and also I would say uh, please do come and don't miss the chance because we don't have it quite often. It happens once in a, a blue moon, I would say. <laughs> we do have events internally, but it's open to public event is for the first time, and also it's entrance free, so anybody can pop in. So, yeah. Lovely. Thank you so much, ma'am. All the best for not just today, but for the future of CSA as well. Thank you so much, and we hope to see you again. Thank you.